for the last month or so, and they're very excited to show it to you. Um, so to get us started, we have three um, young ladies that are going to play a little song for you, and then we'll get started with our program, okay? So I will go first.
Welcome, New Star. You're looking nice and bright this evening. Thank you, Old Star. I've been working on my shininess. Good job, and this is a great night for all of us to look at our best. Why is that? You don't know about Christmas? Oh, that's right. You're a brand new star. This is your very first Christmas. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Is it your first two? Oh, no. I've seen over 2,000 of them. Wow. 2,000? Is that a lot? Well, yes. In fact, I'm old enough to tell you my very first tell you about my very first Christmas, and I can explain why, why we still celebrate it even after all these years. Oh, please do. I want to hear all about it. Okay, to start, we, to start with, we have to go back before the, the first Christmas and visit a little town or a little place called Nazareth. Is Nazareth a place in the sky? You know, up in space? No, it's a place down on Earth in that little bitty planet right over there. You mean the one over there by Jupiter? No, the one further to the, to the right. Do you mean Pluto? I didn't think it was still a planet. No, not Pluto, to the other right, your other right. You mean the little blue and green one over there by Mars and Jupiter and Venus? Exactly, and look right over there, that's the town of Nazareth. Oh, who's that pretty lady? That's Mary, she's a virgin, and she's pledged to be married to a man named Joseph. Joseph is a carpenter. He's also a righteous man. What's he doing? Building something. Carpenters are always building something. I hope it's a cradle. I think you're getting ahead of your story. Who's, who's that other guy? He's all shiny like us. That's Gabriel. He's an angel. He has come to talk to Mary. Let's listen. She was going to have a baby. Who will the son of God who will be the son of God? And what did Mary say? She said yes. <laughs> oh good. Now what? I like Mary. She seems really nice. Oh she is. After the angel left her, Mary hurried to visit her cousin Elizabeth. When Mary arrived, they found out that things were just like the angel had told her. Mary seems really happy to see Elizabeth. And just think, Elizabeth was going to have a baby at her, in her old age. It was a miracle! Yes, and Mary wasn't the only one who was happy. Elizabeth was happy too. Listen to what she said to Mary. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for a long visit, then returned back to Nazareth, but by now it was more obvious that she was going to have a baby. Uh-oh, 
What did Joseph say? Well, Joseph knew the baby wasn't his, but since Joseph was a righteous man, he decided to put Mary away privately. But after he had considered these things, God had God sent an angel to speak to him in a dream. Son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, for what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. You will be with he she will give. She will give birth to a son in order to give him the name Jesus, because he will save people from their sins. All of this was done in a fulfillment of the ancient prophecy. The virgin will conceive the and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. Oh, the name Emmanuel means God with us. Wow, that's a great name. What did Joseph do when he woke up? He just did all the things the angel, the angel told him to do. Okay, so what happened next? There was a little drama that went on the room. Caesar, the Roman ruler, ordered that everyone had to be counted. Why would he do that? Something about taxes, whatever those are. But in order to be counted, everyone had to go back to their family's hometown. Sort of like a family reunion. A little bit, but without games or potato salad. That's too bad. I love potato salad. Did they have cookies? I love cookies, too. I don't think so. Then it really wasn't much like a family reunion at all. No, in fact, for Mary and Joseph, it was a pretty long, difficult trip, especially since Mary was expecting a baby. Where did they have to go? They went to this town called Bethlehem. Do you mean the little bitty town over there in the middle of nowhere? That's the one. It was the birthplace of Joseph's ancestor, King David. Wait a minute. Bethlehem, isn't that the one, that, the one they sing about? The one they call, O little town of Bethlehem. Yep. I really like that song. They even sing about how the silent stars go by. Listen, I think someone's going to sing about it now.
can really sing. But listen, I thought this was a story about the first Christmas. When do we get to the part with the tree and the star? There was no tree on the first Christmas, but there was a star. Where? We're getting there, but first we have to hear more about Mary and Joseph. Okay. So Joseph went to Bethlehem to be counted, and Mary went with him. Look, Mary and Joseph have arrived in Bethlehem. I hope they have somewhere nice to stay. Mary looks very tired. You're right, but there was no room for them in the inn, so Mary and Joseph stayed in the stable. A stable? Do you mean for cows and horses and goats and sheep and... Yup, Mary and Joseph stayed in a humble stable. Mary and her baby were wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger. Why did they put the baby in a manger? It was, the probably, it was probably the best, the safest and best place they had for him. I'm sure that Joseph lined in it with fresh new hay and stood watch over Mary and Joseph during the night. What did, the, what did they name the baby? They named him Jesus, which means the Lord saves. And now for the first time up in the sky, the new star announcing the birth of the Messiah. Look, I think they're going to sing again. They do that a lot around Christmas time. You get used to it. a really great song. Just think, a new star in the sky. How wonderful, how glorious. No one on earth could have missed that. Uh, it's amazing that the, not only the, 
did people miss the Messiah then, but they still miss, the, miss him today. Maybe it's they are looking for the Messiah. But God didn't rely on a single new star to announce the birth of, of his son. He also sent an angel to send a group of shepherds all about it. Of course, I, it, it really frightened the shepherds suddenly to see an angel. Today in this town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with an angel, praising God, saying, When the angels had left them and gone to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, So they hurried off to and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen, they, they spread the word concerning what had told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at, the, at what the shepherds said to them. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard, seen, which were just as they had been told. That's the story of the first Christmas and the star. But there was more to the story. Look over to in there the in the east. Who are those guys? They are the three wise men, but they can tell us themselves. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What are they saying? It's from an old song about the three wise men. They are saying that they are three kings from the east, and they have traveled a long way to get here. Oh, I get it. And they saw the new star, and they followed it, because they were wise enough to know it meant a savior had been born. That's right. Listen, I think we're going to sing about it. <laughs>
like the kings. And look, they brought presents. Who are they for? The gifts are for baby Jesus. They are gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold because Jesus is the king, frankincense because he is the high priest, and myrrh because of sacrifice. Hey, where are they going? Bethlehem's over there. Hey, fellas, you're going the wrong way. The baby's over here. They're going to Jerusalem to meet to the palace to look for the king of Jews. But why? The baby is in Bethlehem, over there. He was born in a stable. They're looking for ba for ba they went looking for a baby in a palace, but they didn't find him there. Who did they find? Well, unfortunately, they met an evil man named Herod, who was a local ruler. When Herod heard all of this greatly distressed of all of the Jerusalem with him, they called in the Jewish chief priest and the teachers of the law and asked them where the Messiah was to be born. Wait, oops, wrong passage. So the wise men went on their way, and the old star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was they then when they saw the star they were overjoyed on co on coming to the house they saw the child was was his mother mary and they bowed down and worshiped him then they gave him their gifts and went back to their own countries but having been warned in a dream not go back to herod they went home a different way why didn't they go back to see Herod? Because Herod, because Herod didn't really want to worship Jesus. He wanted to destroy him. That's horrible. Yes, it was. What happened to baby Jesus? An, an, an angel sent to warn Joseph in, in a dream to take his family away to Egypt when they, they would be safe. They escaped the night before Herod found them. That's wonderful. Is, is that the whole story? There is a little more, but when it was safe to return, the, chi the, chi the child, Jesus, and his family traveled back to Nazareth where he was raised. Je Jesus was the Son of God. He did all things that were prophesied about him. He lived a perfect life and died on the cross for all sin, and he rose again to live forever. He sits at the right hand of God the Father, and, we'll, and one day he'll come to judge the world. That's amazing. And how do you know all of this? Oh, I saw it all from up, he from up here in the sky. I'm the new st I was the new star that arrived that night. Really? You are the new star? But you are so old. So is the story over, so is the story 2,000 years old, but still a, as true as it was the night on the, on the very first Christmas. And that's why we still celebrate Christmas today. That's amazing. Thank you for telling me the story. I think I will shine a little brighter now that I know all of this. Well, you know what King David said, the heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth, forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech speech or language where their voice is not heard their voice goes out into all the earth their words are to the end of the world yeah well said hey is that the same king david yes king david the ancestor of J joseph the one uh, who was born in bethlehem all those years ago 
Wow, I like that guy. He really has a way with words. Okay, so what now? Looks like it's time for another song. And cookies. I love cookies. Yes, yes, we'll get some cookies. Come on. <laughs> 